Chris Jarton for GaijuPub.com, and this is Hand of Fate on the PS4. Uh, this is a, a Defiant Games joint here. Uh, it's an interesting one. Uh, this is kind of like a tabletop RPG uh, with deck building in it. Oh, and also Batman style combat. Um, it's got some interesting real-time elements as we'll delve into. Uh, there's two different modes, the story mode and endless mode. I haven't unlocked the endless mode yet. Uh, I think you have to finish the story first, so let's uh, carry on with that. Not too far in, I've just sort of beaten the first uh, three uh, baddies over here and gotten... Uh, let's see, I've gotten the goblet, which is the first of four symbols you kind of uh, want to collect here. Um, so there's sort of four tiers of opponents, and then you get uh, these four things over here. Just what you want. Um, so let's see, you go jack, jack, jack. I wonder what is this, because I haven't done it yet. Um, so my opponent is the goblet. Oh no, that's just what I've got. Okay, let's go here with the Jack of Plague then. Um, <clears throat> so each ah, one of those cards the represents... They have swarmed, swarmed up from the dark places beneath the realms of humanity and now squat amongst your cities and feast and shriek and hunt and ride. There's some very uh, energetic voice acting here that's that's quite good. Um, so each one of those opponents is the, the boss that you'll face at the end of each thing. So let's have a look at the deck builder first. Um, so, so far I've unlocked a bunch of different cards and you need to have a certain size deck um to play a game or to do it to do a run um so you can choose to just go with with what the game recommends for you and then you can go in and uh sort of tweak individual cards or you can just uh you know build everything on from scratch so i'm going to go with recommended first um and then we'll have a look and see what we actually have here so um if we show the deck off so down the bottom here is everything that I have in my hand, and up here is everything um, that I've discarded for this round here. A little bit of uh, screen tearing. We're playing the PS4 version, by the way. Um, <clears throat> There's occasional screen tearing, and the frame rate slows down every now and then. Um, I'm not sure whether we'll see that or not. Now, the stuff we have, I have in my hand here, this isn't stuff that I've got equipped. Uh, you start off with every, you know, every game starts off with light armor and just a sword, no shield. Um, you know, I mean, you start off with very basic gear, but these are cards that I can, these are, these are pieces of equipment that I can get uh, as I do my run. Um, so you can expect individual cards, but uh, new cards you, you won't know about until you actually use them. Um... So each has a little perk, so this one has an ice beam attached to it, uh, which is useful. Uh, you know, it inflicts more damage the lower health the where it is. Um, so you know, I mean, you can switch some of the weapons over here. I definitely want a shield in my deck somewhere. Uh, you know, better armor is in there. Uh, some helmets. Um, so, I mean, I can choose. For instance, I've got three shields in my inventory. I can choose to have three shields in my hand. That will make it more likely that I will get, that I will draw a shield. And a uh, shield is pretty important, pretty useful. Um, you can also have an artifact, and those are uh, cards that, that grant you bonuses um, you know, during your game. Uh, let's see, Angel's Wing, I have no idea what that is. So we've got a few new ones here. Um, Survival Healer's Ring. I'm going to get rid of Mercenary Contracts. Uh, makes every successful strike drop gold, but because I'm, <laughs> I'm never a confident player, I kind of want Time Heals in here, which uh, grants me health at every turn. Okay, so, yeah, I'm cool with my deck there, so we're just going to go back. There's also, you have one deck that's your equipment deck, and one deck that is your encounter deck. And these are certain situations that will come up in play. Um, you see the ones that have uh, locks on them over here. These ones are locked in for this run, uh, so I have to have these. 
um, and there are some that are kind of really useful so if you have Mr. Lionel for instance here uh, he will always give you a shield on your first turn um, so it's really really you know it's a guaranteed uh, thing to have protection so it's it's as long as you've got a shield in your deck that is uh, your equipment deck um, so let's see just because I've had Devil's Choice I'm going to I haven't played Desert Storm so I'm going to try that um, so these are nice sort of little ways that augment your game and kind of mean you it generates a certain narrative for you uh, let's get rid of Ambush and have Charity since that seems nice um, and okay that'll do uh, so there we go, and we're cool, so we're going to start the game here. Our Lord of Play does like to rub your nose in misfortune. So he's showing me here uh, all the things that the uh, dungeon master or the dealer uh, has added to his hand. So he uh, gets a few extra tricks with, with every dungeon run that you get. Uh, so he's going to move those cards with his mystical hands because uh, shuffling animations are difficult and uh, we're away. So uh, the cards kind of represent a map um, in a way uh, with the sort of tiles on a, a turn-based RPG map. Every card, the next card that I choose is one step along in my journey. Every step that I take, I lose one food. Uh, so you see I start with, with 10 food, so I have to be constantly aware of my resources, basically. Uh, I can't just move around willy-nilly. Um, so let's start here. Oh, we're actually going to start off with a helpful priest. So. Attempt to discern the very likeness of the gods down to their toes. And he is going to uh, bless me in return for half of my food. Um, ah, what the hell, I'll give him half my food. And uh, so these are kind of like, it, it does sort of RPG style dice rolls by shuffling these cards in front of your face. And it's kind of the, uh, you know, find the successful card here. Um, and huge success. Hooray. So hopefully... Uh, I get two blessing cards, so hopefully this makes up for the food that I've lost, because I've lost more than half of my food, you fuckers, because it round up, rounded up. Nice, you will be fully healed next time you're half dead. That's useful. Toxic blood. Any hit on the player during combat has a chance to poison the attacker. I have to that next time. <laughs> I have to rebound it. Yeah, it's it's kind of it's a nice little ludic narrative. You're playing a game within the game, so the guy's constantly making references to ah, uh, you know, you're playing well. You know, it's almost could be something. It would be super ambitious. This is only a single player game. It would be super ambitious if it was uh, two player and you have the the dungeon master with his own uh, deck. Um, goblins, shit. So now I've lost more food and more gold. I'm going to have to run and get them back. But only three goblins here to deal with. Any other monsters? No, just three goblins. So it should be pretty straightforward. These uh, goblin attacks should be um, pretty familiar to you if you've ever played Golden Axe. We've got to chase these fuckers down and, and beat them up till we get our stuff back. But this is an idea of the, of the re real-time elements. When you have combat and certain encounters, it pops you in uh, in real time gives you your stuff and uh, now I'm gonna chase these guys down and the uh, the combat is uh, it's very Batman-esque I mean these uh, these goblins are just gonna run away I just gotta get my stuff back from them uh, before they escape uh, so they're not gonna fight back but uh, enemies that do fight back you've got as long as you have a shield that can deflect attacks, then you're dealing with uh, the sort of familiar... Oh, he's opened up an exit. I gotta get that back. Uh, I gotta get that guy before he gets away. Oh, no, he's escaped. Ah, uh, Okay, I managed to kill him. So I got some of my stuff back. Um, Actually, now I've got more food than I had before, so that's pretty, pretty useful. I was down to, what was I down to? Three? Um, so I managed to get back up to five, so that's, uh, that's not too bad. Um, yeah, if you've got a shield and you're fighting people that are fighting you, then you've got that familiar, hey, there's a green flash, so you hit triangle to, to counter, um, to block and counter. Uh, a quest that may lead you down many paths, 
Yeah, so some of these encounter cards are, are little quests. Interesting. Um, am I only able to find those jackals and make them pay? Ooh, hello. All right, so it like it opens up the sort of next phase in the quest. Uh, that's the first time it's added another card. Uh, Let's find out what type of character you really are. Ooh, let's be a good guy, shall we? Oh, so it's a dice roll kind of deal. Left, right, no, middle, was it here? Here, here, or here, here, or here. I think it was this one. Gosh, <laughs> it was neither of them. Ah, uh, crap, so one pain card. Oh, dear. That's five to my max health. And I have to fight as well. Crap. But hopefully I should uh, get their loot out of it. There you go, so you see, I mean, like, it's... Pretty straightforward. And only two people here, so it shouldn't be that much of a big deal. food. Good. So I can get my food back. Getting that max health back. Haha, -ha, all your plans are ganged in lay. I have uh, managed to undo all of that damage. And I get a token. Uh, so those uh, tokens uh, at the end of the game provided um, either as you can see, this is the exit to this to this area. Uh, there's roguelike elements. If I um, just turn back uh, then I can finish and I can keep that token, uh, which will unlock more cards into my deck. Uh, if I keep going and I die, then I lose everything. Each of these cards is crafted deck. from and your so memories this time and you see built from your experience. I created them, but only in the abstract. It is the importance you place on them that makes them real. Hmm. There's kind of hints that he's, he's changing the game uh, in that sense, depending there's sort of AI directorness to it um, in terms of how you play. He's, he's changing it up the whole time, in theory, anyway. Um, so you see here we've got a circular route, so I've got two choices of, of paths to take, basically. Let's go this way. And here we have a shop. And the only uh, bummer that I've had uh, so far with this game, I really like just the, the, the pacing of it. I love the, the slow contemplative deck building and drawing and, and thinking about stuff. Um, and I also like the, the real-time combat stuff. Uh, you can never go wrong with, with Batman combat. But um, it's, the, it's the low times in between that are a little bit irritating on, uh, on PS4 anyway. Um, I don't have any gold. That sucks. I don't have anything I can sell. I don't want to sell my shield. Um, I don't really need food, so yeah, I'm just gonna have to leave here. So there is kind of this extent of like, you know, it's like being back in the day with with old floppy disk games where it's like dare I just not go down you know I don't have enough money I just won't go in that shop so I don't have to sit through the loads um, the load, I mean they're not long in any way but I mean they're a little bit irritating they kind of like you know they, they uh, break the pace a little bit um, piece of skill in tending wounds but they excel at removing curses I have neither curses nor wounds so I'm just going to pass that one by And into the it Twisted Canyon. That initial moment where things begin. I have worked on these cards all my days, and the canyon has been there from the outset. <laughs> it's scared. Okay. Three out of four chance. I am the skull. I am the skull. Let's go with this one. Oh! <laughs> okay. That clearly, you know, that's being tricksy. Clearly, clearly, uh, you know, it isn't just a visual thing. It's just randomizing it. I have shit luck there. But I did get a huge hammer. As you string together consecutive attacks, you do greatly increased damage. Press L1 to unleash a force explosion. 
instead of a rusty axe. Yes, please. I'll have that. There you go. Uh, sometimes as well, like if you have, it's better than trudging along a muddy road. If you make a uh, kind of a a dubious decision, uh, the uh, you know, the dealer here will scratch the tiles. Will make fun of that, you know. Uh, so you hear it like he's he's talking about the the Jack of Plagues being somewhere on this floor. At Devil's its Carnival. These traveling shows about mockeries of the true mysteries. <laughs> Okay, peasants and nobles alike wander the streets and alleys past wonders and amazements. Seem almost dazed. There is something about the place that built dulls your senses. <laughs> you forget your quest, forget even the path that brought you to this place. I've got no choice but to continue. Okay. Oh, okay. Ah, crap, I am really bad at these. Meow, 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 this one. Hey! I'll take it. What? Oh no. And again. Is that the back? Is that the back? I think it. Ah, you can see this one! Hooray! Not a huge success, but a success. Box off, right? Then pretends to be killed by you, makes an appropriately dramatic death scene. Crab boost, <laughs> because the throw food. And you just take the food. <laughs> Brilliant. Again, three there. Since I later, you find yourself standing at the edge of the forest. Day is dawning, but which day? Huh. Oh, it was all gone. I have lost the token. Okay. I could have had a huge success. Presumably, I needed the huge success card to have the token. Which way shall I go? This way. Oh, balls. Now you begin to trespass upon the rat men's hunting grounds. Four of Plague. Well, I can try out my sweet hammer. Yeah, you see what I mean? It's like, it's the... It's all about 10, I don't know, 15, 20... Like, 20 seconds before I can just get that animation and get going. So, I mean, it, it isn't... I mean, it, it's by no means like a deal breaker, but it's moderately annoying. An area of impact thing should have been more careful. <laughs> should have timed that better, too. Great, you bastard. There we go. But, okay. Am I poisoned? I guess I'm poisoned when I'm losing health all the time. Oh, yeah, that's probably that green card. I didn't notice it being drawn. Oh dear. I was losing health as I was attacking there. Uh, what way, hand of fate? What way? This way. No, what? Again? So easily. Prepare Prepare yourself. Four of them. Sucks. Poison again, I think. Oh, is that the toxic blood deal? I don't know. I was losing health as I was fighting. I don't like that at all. I'll draw that card again. But I get food out of it. I'm sure you uh, the thing is, though, this is the last sort of <laughs> the last uh, sort of floor of this dungeon, so to speak, um, or the the last round of this uh, playthrough. So. Food isn't really important. I will Bandit have attack! Pleased with your challenges. Holy crap! It's annoying. Just getting combat after combat after combat. And yet, some of them that was only like about ten seconds of a load. It's it's kind of inconsistent. Eat that. Deal. 
Gold in the face. Did him in. And more food. It's a shitty reward. Ah, uh, okay. So <laughs> come back, come back, come back, come back, and then the boss. Oh well. There's a beast who hates your kind, and has grown fat and evil with that hatred. A jack of plague will kill you and suck the marrow from your bones. Hmm. A challenge for you, and a token if you succeed. And two tokens there. This hasn't been a particularly successful run for me. Uh, you know, the more sort of choices the may you make, the more sort of ethical choices you make, the more successful uh, sort of draws you get. Uh, then the more tokens you will get at the end, and therefore the more unlocks you'll get um, after a, a uh, run. But uh, here I'm, I'm not being very lucky at all. The most I'll get is three. Okay. So these ones, um, it's not just... So, uh, yeah, l much like Batman again, um, you have that... Uh, you know, some people have red attack indicators, and those are unblockable attacks. So you just want to get the uh, get the hell out of the way of those ones. Uh, boss fights, you have to not just beat the boss, but beat everybody on the stage. So, and I'm being poisoned. Uh, here, eat this. I didn't do much. Nope. You've got on uh, the circle button. You've got a um, kind of like a, a guard break thing, a, a stun move. Uh, that's like Batman's cowl. I mean, it is just Batman combat straight up. Uh, so I mean, you're not seeing anything new there, but I mean, you know, it's ripped off by a bunch of games for a reason. Uh, but I knocked him off, even though I played pretty badly on that round. Uh, but there you go. For slaughter, your reward. And defeating the bandits, I get a ring of justice and warning signs. So those are two new cards from. Okay, so you get the most cards for beating the boss, obviously. Berserker armor, Scorching Zeal, Culling the Rat, Men, King of Dust, and Old Graveyard. So some, you know, it's always a mix of equipment and encounters. And they just talk. And then it goes a little bit framey, and everybody flies in. And, uh, and then you do it all over again. Um, but with new opponents and, and new people to go for. Um, you can go back and revisit old encounters and kind of grind stuff. Um, and yeah, just try and get Some new cards and, and continue to build up that deck. I mean, like the... It's the... And I suspect he will harbor a great hatred for you, my friend. I mean, it's the it's the kind of uh, meta game element of it that I find is is most interesting in Hand of Fate. I love the idea of hey, you're playing, the game is about playing a game, and uh, the, the dealers, you know, it's it's got really cool voice acting. I, d I don't know who does it. Um, maybe I should find out. Um. Do, 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 do. Okay, then options. Let's see. Who did the voice acting game? Ah, oh, it's one of those that's just a scroll. And okay, okay, I can go down. Visual effects, blah blah blah. Da, 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 da. Composer, sound designer, guest designers, special scent. Oh, there you go. Anthony Scordy does a good job there. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I, I love the voice acting in it. Um, I just love the, the kind of. I mean, it's it's one thing that the, the combat is there to kind of, uh, you know, to spice it up. You've got more of a pace thing, and you feel that the game's more under your control um, than I often do with with this kind of thing, uh, where it's entirely random. I kind of feel, oh, you know, my hand's forced in a way. Um, 
but also it's this contemplative, the strategic nature of, of building out your deck and of kind of exploring more of the game by using new equipment, by uh, choosing new encounters and things like that, or do you stay with what you have knowing that it's a, it's a safe bet? Um, I think that's, that's really interesting too. Um, I'm really enjoying this one. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to playing more of it. It's uh, Hand of Fate, it's on PS4 and Steam as of right now. And uh, yeah, I think it's pretty cool, but there'll be a, a full review on kaijupop.com forthcoming. Chris Charlton for kaijupop.com, thanks for watching, bye-bye.